So myths and misperceptions. I hear this a lot, and those of you that have uh, been involved in cooperatives before or have looked at starting cooperatives, I often get calls from people that said, you know, I talked to my lawyer or I talked to my accountant, and they said that starting a co-op was not a good idea. And usually some the rules that are presented or the reasons that that's presented are, are on this slide. Um, a big one that we hear a lot is that co-ops are not profitable, uh, i.e. they're not successful. You know, you, you can't run a business by following cooperative values and, and running a business together. Uh, and this is, this is uh, not the case. I mean, you know, it's, it's very possible that you can run a cooperative poorly and have it do poorly, but just by virtue of having those values doesn't mean that it's a foregone conclusion that you're not going to be successful running your cooperative. One complaint that we often hear about the democratic process is that it takes forever to make a decision. Um, you know, because it's not just one person that's controlling that cooperative. It's the membership or the board of directors that has to come together collectively to make a decision for the cooperative, and then, you know, uh, in some cases, uh, delegate that to the management. Um, and this is where the, the importance of good decision-making processes comes in. It, it can take longer to make a decision because it isn't just the responsibility of one person to make that decision or one or two shareholders to make that decision. Uh, but the key is that because uh, of these safeguards around uh, a number of members coming together to make that decision, they do tend to stick. Uh, one thing that we also hear is that you have to be a member to benefit from or use the goods and services of, of a cooperative. And, Sometimes it's restricted, but it's not always the case. So, for example, um, you have to be a member in order to shop at Mountain Equipment Co-op, but you don't have to be a member of Daily Cooperative in order to enjoy their delicious chocolate whipped cream, and it is delicious. Um, so the idea is that not all, every cooperative uh, provides its goods to its members. It, it is organized to meet the needs of those members, but that doesn't mean that it does business solely with its members. Um, the other ones is that we also hear cooperatives are poorly managed and underfunded and that they're not competitive. And again, uh, you know, as with any form of enterprise, as with any private business, with any partnership, with any nonprofit, you will find examples of cooperatives that are, uh, for whatever reason, are not well managed or are not competitive because they're having challenges. But by virtue of the model alone, this is not a fair generalization for the entire sector. Uh, you know, there are always examples of businesses that could be run better. Uh, but it, it's not fair to say that all businesses are poorly run or poorly managed, the same as it's not fair to say that about cooperatives. 